Hey there to my 50 subscribers, my future subscribers, and all the people that secretly watch me without subscribing. Um, I'm recording this on May 7th, so um, including that any subscribers that may have subscribed since I recorded it, um, just trying to get ahead a little bit so I can spend some time with my husband. Um, so today's video is about chimeras. Um, I'll try to keep it short and just give, give you the information that I can find on them. Um, chimeras are fascinating and have captured the imagination of people for centuries. This unique, these unique people and animals are formed when two or more fertilized eggs or embryos fuse together, resulting in an organism with two or more distinct sets of DNA. And um, there are a couple other exceptions, and I will get into them in a moment. Um, so there are various types of chimeras. The first one is uh, myco, my, I can't even talk. Micro chimerism is when a small number of cells from one organ organism transfers to another organism during pregnancy or childbirth. One example of this is when a woman is pregnant with a boy, some of his cells can transfer to the woman, changing her DNA. So when she has other future children, um, she could have children with somebody else in the future. And if she's had a boy in the past, there's a possibility some of his DNA from his father could potentially end up in um, the future children. Uh, another type happens when two or more non-identical embryos merge together, creating an organism with two or more sets of DNA. When this happens, a person's skin, blood, nails, and saliva can have differing DNA and appear to come from different people. I did find an example online to help you understand what effect this can have on people. Uh, the example is about a woman named Jane. Her mother had released two eggs which both got fertilized. The result would have been two female babies, but they merged together creating Jane. Part of her body was a single DNA structure and part was, mix, was a mix of two of them. Uh, Jane went on to have three sons, but a blood test indicated that two of the boys were not hers because they belonged to the twin that she merged with. So she actually gave birth to two babies and their DNA didn't match hers. Um, chimeras can display a wide range of physical characteristics. They can have different skin colors and patterns, different fur patterns or textures when it's animals. They can have two different colored eyes or display a mixture of traits from the different animals that they were formed from. Uh, for example, if two embryos from different dog breeds fused together. The resulting chimera dog might have fur from both breeds. Uh, some specific examples of chimeras that I found that were interesting. Uh, a Spanish scientist created the human monkey to supposedly investigate ways to grow human organs for transplantation. It is claimed that the this chimera was developed for scientific studies only and it was not allowed to mature into an adult specimen. According to current scientific ethics, all scientifically studied human embryos must be terminated after 14 days of gestation. One of the most famous chimeras in modern years was the human pig experiment. Developed in 2017, scientists at the Salk Institute of California attempted to grow the first embryo that contained human and pig cells. The experiment proved to be very challenging for the team, however. It was not very efficient as it turned out. Of 2,075 implanted embryos, only 186 developed up to the 28 day time limit preset for the project. One notable example of a natural human chimera is the American singer, and I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong, um, uh, Taylor Mole, or Mole, I'm not sure. She recently discovered that she is, in fact, a human-human chimera. It turns out she is carrying the genetic material of her fraternal twin sister. It is believed that their zygotes fused in her mother's womb early on during her pregnancy. 
This in part helps explain some patches of darker skin on her torso that is not, or that is her sister's DNA. Even the microscopic world isn't free of real life chimeras. In fact, scientifically created virus chimeras can prove to be quite handy at fighting diseases. One example was created by Portuguese researchers back in 2017. They created a chimera virus from a common mouse virus and a human viral gene. This chimera is being used to investigate new ways to treat cancer caused by the human herpes virus. The team found out that when the cancer-causing virus loses a protein called LANA, it also loses its ability to cause cancer. Another amazing real-life chimera is the human mouse chimera. After the lifting of a two-week limit on human-animal chimera studies, a Japanese team of researchers pushed ahead with creating a human mouse one. Led by a Japanese stem cell scientist, the team planned to insert human stem, stem cells into mice or rats. They hoped to grow a human pancreas within the host rodents as a safeguard if too many human cells creep into the rat's brains, the experiment would be terminated. I do believe they've already done this, but I'm not positive. And finally, did you know that someone who undergo, undergoes a bone marrow transplant could also be called a chimera? In these cases, the patient's own bone marrow cells are destroyed and replaced with the donors. In most cases, they will retain some of their own bone marrow, meaning their blood cells will be a mix of theirs and their donor's DNA. In more extreme cases, all of their blood cells contain the donor's DNA only. Not only that, but <clears throat> even when you receive a blood transplant, you are temporarily a human-human chimera. Then in Greek mythology, the chimera was a fire-breathing creature with the head of a lion, the body of a goat, and the tail of a serpent. It was believed to be a symbol of destruction and terror. The chimera also appears in other mythologies, such as the Egyptian and Hindu traditions. Many of them have similar descriptions, but there are also a wide variety of variances. Um, so that's a little bit of information about them, um, things that I found kind of interesting, and I hope you enjoyed it. And please like, subscribe, comment, share. And um, I don't know what day this is going up, but uh, sometime this month. <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching. Bye. Let me pose real quick. The spotlight's on me. Take your pictures. I pull up around 7.45 in my 740. I look at 740 fly. I could drive the old school Chevy, but my fans are the nice.